this week on Buck Commander. So as it stands, only one and a half buck men have ever killed a mule deer. Drake beat me to it, but uh... You just dropped that big sucker. So this year, Under Armour invited me with them to go chase muleys in Utah. As it turns out, Rochi couldn't go on the trip. So we went through everyone's schedule and only one buck man had absolutely nothing going on. Seems to me that at least once a year, somebody in Buck Commander goes on a mule deer hunt. Mule deer represents a truly wild and untamed big game animal. Part of the allure of mule deer hunting is that they tend to live in rugged and challenging terrain. Unbelievable country. See for miles. I don't know. Last year was a big year for us. Langy was the first buckman to kill a mule deer. Yeah, I see him. You were feeling it, son. We've got a mule deer on the ground. Drake beat me to it, but uh, but now that's two muleys for the Buckman this year. And well, I've got to give Drake credit. He was the first one on the board for Buck Commander when it comes to muleys. Not yet. Wait, for, wait for him to turn the box. You just dropped that big sucker. So as it stands, only one and a half buck men have ever killed a mule. Yeah, I know. Roachy's been a thousand times and nothing. Well, have you thought about trying to help spot one? We need some more apple Oh, really? That's how you mule deer hunt? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Even Tombo's tried to kill a mule. Holy crap. I don't know how that was going to happen. But we've learned to lower our expectations of Tombo. So this year, Under Armour invited me with them to go chase muleys in Utah. I thought I finally had my chance to kill one. As it turns out, Rochi couldn't go on the trip. So we went through everyone's schedule and only one buck man had absolutely nothing going on. This is my place. I've had it for about five years. We want to apologize to Under Armour. This is the best we could do on short notice. Unbelievable. I don't know how they could have missed this flowing locks that he's got going yeah, on right now. It's a midlife crisis hairdo yeah, he's got like, there. It's like a, you know, a middle-aged surfer. 
had this problem before. Sometimes you just get a little. We're gonna get him some Dapper Dan and slick his hair back and buy him a Camaro and put the top down, pierce his ears. Look at this. Went from sunny and 80 degrees yesterday in Florida to not so sunny and about three inches of snow already this morning. So we struck out at first light, go into sight in the rifle, and wouldn't you know it, there's the big boy. To add insult to injury, he runs straight at the truck and gets it within bow range. Not rifle, bow. So I'm thinking to myself, how off can this rifle really be? I don't know if this was a good omen or bad luck or we, all we know is we needed to sight the rifle in quick as possible. Can you see that orange gong at 300? The gong? Way up there at the top one. Let's go kill. We have a fork on his left, doesn't it? be even cooler than just hunting in the snow, killing in the snow. We've seen probably, what, a dozen bucks at least? I mean, does everywhere and they're, they're herding them up now. You see anything out there? We have found Houdini. He's been seeing this deer for a long time. He's given us a slip twice already, I think, today. So we got him. He's over, over the side of this ridge right here, about 340. We're going to try to close a little distance and see if we can't put him to bed for good. So we're going to try to sneak up. Let's go do this. Chases on. That was exciting, by the way. In case you couldn't feel it at home, that was exciting. <laughs> so we hop in the truck to try to cut him off. Standing right there. How far? 250. Are you kidding me? Then we end up driving right back on top of him. How do they shoot through that? I don't know if I can or not. <laughs> we haven't really had to work all day up until now. But now's when we gotta do it. We set up again. I'm trying to catch my breath, and here comes the big boy running right out. See him coming out right here. Yeah. How far? 180. 
you see if you'll stop. See if you'll stop. Not get out. Hang on. Yeah, I got a shot there. No. We had a huge opening, but he just wouldn't stop. So off we go again at a full sprint, trying to set up once again on this buck. Off he goes. Well, that sucked. Houdini got us. We you got your footage of some hunting. Now we're gonna go and kill him. The first day ends with no luck. That's all right. We're still positive. We got a little bit of time left, and we're gonna keep going after him. I've had enough of this crap. One whole day, I've already had enough of chasing him. I'm gonna kill him. All morning it seemed like they were bedded up, so we headed back to the truck to come up with a new plan. Here we go again. Goat roping number three. This deer is probably right now probably five, six, seven hundred yards down this down this bottom. It's bedded down again. We just got tired of sitting in the truck, man. I mean I was getting cabin fever. So we had a good buck spotted a few hundred yards away, but on the way to him, we walked up on this younger buck bedded down. We could only hope that he wouldn't bust out and just ruin the whole deal. About gonna have to bump him and hope he goes down. He shouldn't mess us up. So we dig our heels in with our buck still bedded up in the timber. Now we just gotta wait him out. Can you see him? All right, come out with your antlers up. How far is he? Yep. It's like strike ten for us. Yeah, I get shot down here. You know, you do get to a point where you start second guessing if it's going to happen or not. We've got one day left. Something's got to change. Thank you. 
It's really getting after today, huh? You can come with us if you want. We're gonna go kill. Not exactly the species we're after. Something had these deer spooked, but it worked out to our advantage because they were side hilling right to us. We had two good bucks in front of us. One was almost in the clear, and the other one bedded down in the Quakies. At this point in the game, we're not gonna be picky. The first one that wants to be a TV star is our man. Two and a half days of hard work came down to one squeeze of the trigger on that savage. We did it. Huh? <laughs> Come on, man. Come here. <laughs> no, I'd say the rest was pretty steady, Trev. <sighs> oh, he smokes. I want to thank that fawn. You know, I dedicate this to her for, for making him stand up. Because we might have sat here for another two hours. Oh, Utah! We go. Mm. When we get off this hill, I swear I'm gonna, I might just push you down the hill right now. I might have to, but I can't. <laughs> Let's go get him. Get on this. Buck Commander, baby, has struck in Utah. That was the most gratifying walk up I've ever had as a hunter. Right here is where he laid, bedded down. Things got a little squirrely. A fawn was bedded up above him. She comes down. And I was just afraid the buck we were looking at down here was going to scatter out and not give us a shot. And that's actually what ended up happening. He skirted these trees and went around another draw and he was gone. So when this guy stood up, I told Jamie, I said, get on the upper buck. And about five seconds later, this happened. Gotta give big thanks to Kobe 
Under Armour crew. Thanks to Christy for coming out and uh, spending a few days. And, and a little thanks to Rochi too for having such a great season and leading his team to the playoffs, which led to me killing my first muley. Ew! <laughs> so jacked up right now.